This is part two of the watercolor background for scripture writing. Okay, hello everyone. So this is part two of the um, watercolor, watercolor background for scripture writing. So let me move this around some. Okay, so I have two ideas here. Um, I was initially going to write on it, but um, I decided not to. Of course, um, you can write on it if you want, but I have these little shareable cards that I purchased for um, for um, doing journal activities, um, Bible journal activities, and it's from Dayspring. Her name is Sadie Robertson. I got them from... Um, Illustrated Faith website, which um, the company that makes it is Dayspring, and the woman's name is Sadie Robertson. So, um, not that I'm being sacrilegious, sacrilegious here, because I'm gonna cut it up, but I'm just just using it. I'm taking it from the card and putting it on um, the watercolor background. So, this is what it looks like. It's nice like this. I could stick it like that. Um, but I'm going to cut it out because I like cutting out letters and words and pasting them or even like the phrases. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm out of frame. Hold on one second. I don't know what's going on here with this today. Wow. I don't know. Maybe. Sorry about that. So, um, hopefully yeah, I'm in frame now. I don't want to be too close because then it'll get blurry. So I'm going to keep my hands over here. So anyway, so um, I'm going to cut this out and then I'll show you how I'm going to paste it on the, the watercolor background. But anyway, I had an idea to laminate some of my cards. I have a laminating machine. And even if you don't have a laminating machine, you can use like tape to laminate it, like clear tape. Um, or if you could get some laminating pouches before I got a laminating machine, I would use a, um, I would use a iron <laughs> and just cover it up with a, um, with a sheet or a towel. That's another option. So as you see here, I'm cutting, I'm cutting it out and I think I'm going to cut it out in strips. Yeah. For the sake of this video, for it not being so long. Cause I don't want it to be too long. I'm just going to cut out strips. Um, sometimes you can just cut out word for word and just position them however you want to on the background. Um, but I am going to shorten it. But um, it was on my heart to share that. Someone may say, so what do you do with these cards after you, you, you know, you finish them? Well, you can give them to someone. Um, like I said, um, um, I was thinking about laminating mines. But, um, and maybe I would share with someone, you know, um, it's this group called Salty Leaks. I just, um, learned about it from, um, Shelly and I went in and, you know, it was similar to something that, um, I had started doing by sending cards to children in hospitals. The only thing is that you can't send anything. What they say is religious, but it's still like um, a nice sentiment to just send a card saying that they, they actually give you a list of things that you uh, a list of op options to say because you don't know what child is going to get it and you don't want it to be offensive. And, it, and, and they also don't want it to be like a pity card. It's supposed to encourage the child to still, you know, have hope and everything despite their illness. So um, when I went in a group and I saw that it was similar to something like that, I, I was thinking I'll already participate in something like that. So I didn't know if I really wanted to take that on. But I would say um, it was a, something that she mentioned there that gave me an idea because they're about spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ is that you can leave the cards. You can leave them on a train station, can leave them somewhere, you know, like make it's almost like you're making a little track, so to speak. So I thought that, um, and they call, that's a group called Sorty Leaks, if you want to look into that, you know. But also, too, I was talking to another friend of mine, and what I found so amazing, we just happened to bump up into each other in Marshalls. And, you know, she's a school teacher, and she was coming, a uh, paraprofessional, she was coming under some persecution. And, 
you know, it's not like you could walk through the school hallways with your Bible. But what she did was she made her um, a stack of um, scriptures. She she took some index cards and she wrote several scriptures out that she needed to be able to do warfare that she can just flip to and read when she was coming underneath attack. And no one was no one knew what she she they just knew she had a stack of index cards with a ring on it. But they didn't know that she would be reading scripture and, you know, in different locations, because, of course, you know, you have to um, be mindful in certain situations where, you know, taking out your Bible. And you don't want them to say, oh, you're using company time to do certain things. But um, perhaps you are someone that wants to make you like um, a bunch of scripture cards like that when you're on the go that you could just take out your wallet and just read through. Perhaps you have. um you're battling a certain area that you're trusting God for, and you can just find, um, get a list of scriptures from Google and then write them scriptures on your, your background cards. You can do it on plain index cards, but you know, if you're the type of person that like color, sometimes just putting something in color, you know, for some of us, it's very soothing and it's helpful. So, you know, um, I thought those were some ideas and of course I'll be praying and doing some more research for ideas to, um, that, um, ideas for art and, and, and our, you know, even this activity, because I was thinking even earlier today, I'm making a lot of things, but I'm not giving them away as quick as I'm making them. And I don't want to be hoarding this stuff and somebody else can use it and benefit from it and, I don't want to be creating clutter in my home. I already have my art stash, but when I make stuff, you know, and I'm really not into selling the things anymore. I can sell um, keychains, but I'm not really into selling the jewelry and the art and stuff that I make, unless the Lord tells me to sell it to someone. But um, I don't right now. He didn't. I didn't hear that, and I don't. I, I think before I got a little distracted with trying to, you know, build this big old store, and then you know I couldn't even keep up because I don't have time to manage a store like that because I'm also a school teacher and before that I'm a, I'm a wife and then I'm in ministry so but anyway so this one is first Peter 5 7 give all your worries and cares to God for he cares for you so instead of cutting word by word I just went like this for, for he give all your worries and cares to God for he cares for you right and I might even draw a little flower or something on it but um, I'm not going to waste time showing you how I glue it down. Because I think you everybody here knows how to glue something down. But um, look at that. That's really nice. And then today um, I had some thoughts about some things that I had attempted. And, you know, I didn't do. I wasn't too successful at it. And, you know, Satan came with his lies. Oh, you're a failure. And I'm, I'm, I'm battling that. I'm, I'm, I'm battling that. Cause I, since I'm not at work, I have more free time. And you know, sometimes when you have more free time, you can have more prayer time, more quiet time, but that doesn't mean that the enemy is, he's just going to want to leave you alone and not attack. And you know, this may not be everybody's case, but I know how I wore, but I have the victory always in Christ Jesus. And I thank God for that. You know, no pain, no gain. And I don't want to be like, oh, the devil, the devil, the devil, because I'm not focused on him. We give God the glory. But, you know, it is what it is. We do come under attack, but we thank God that we have an arsenal and most important, the, um, the, um, the um, arm of God to put on so we can stand, stand in the evil day. So anyway, these evil days, um, but still, it's a day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. But anyway, I found this card. I was cleaning up. I, was clean, I decided to clean off one bookshelf and I found these cards and look what I found. No one fails who does their best for God. Isn't God so awesome? Like how he'll just put a word in our path. We read our Bible. He gives us a word or we lay it down. He speaks to our heart. We cry. He speaks to our heart. He'll send a friend. We get a phone call. I've even seen God speak to me through a, a program on TV. Tell me to watch something and person said, I'm like, hmm, wow, God, you know, so 
we never know how the word of the Lord is going to come to someone or come to even us. So anyway, so those are the two ideas for the background. And of course, if you don't have, and you know, you can always cut out words out of magazines. You may not have these cards, but you have maybe books that you were going to throw away, old magazines, stuff that come in the mail. Look through that mail, that, that junk mail and find words and, and cut them out and use them on your art. Okay, God bless you. And this is more mixed media. This is almost like mixed media type, not really in-depth. I might even take this stencil that I made and put some hearts on there. But um, I'm going to take a picture of the finished product and attach it to the end of this video. God bless you, and I pray it inspires, encourages someone to do some art and Christian Bible art on, with the scriptures. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Okay, so... What I do is I glue the phrases down for the scripture, and I'm about to outline it with a, a black sharpie. I have a favor pastel pen. I think it's called a pit pen, but um, it's somewhere in here. But I think this mark, this sharpie would be better. I'm using a heat tool, but if you don't have a heat tool, you can just wait for it to dry. You may have to wait overnight or. You know, I'm use, I use Mod Podge to um, glue it down. But if you don't have Mod Podge, you can go ahead and just use regular Elmo's glue or some good um, stick glue. Glue stick. I glue stick. Okay, so I think that's dry enough. And um, I learned a technique on how to um, straighten out the cards. Just by, um, from cat hand, by, um, you know, like pushing it up and down on the edge of the table to make it straightened out. So that's what I just did. So right now I'm going to outline. I'm going to just go like this. I don't want to, because it's Sharpie. It doesn't have the, um, the thinnest, the thinnest, um, point. So... But if you have markers, you can use markers. Only thing, if you're going to put glue over it again, and you have to make sure the markers don't bleed when or react to water. So that's how I did that one. So I'm going to do the others and then come back. Okay, so here it is, outlined. I think that looks really nice. Um, it just gives it some depth and then I was thinking I want to put I have this stencil here that I made You don't have to, you could draw something if you want Maybe you could draw a flower or something But I have this stencil that I made So I'm going to use this I'm Trying to figure out which one is the best one to use for this I think this one right here And um, instead of using ink because everybody may not have ink I'm going to just go ahead and use this Sharpie pencil But I need to make sure I hold it down really good uh, I want to put it right here. And then I'll just color it in. <gasps> Alright, so I'll have to go like this. It went under a little bit, but that's okay. Just have to draw it in. Draw it in some. I'm going to outline it anyway. That's because this tip wasn't um, as sharp. As pointy rather it was a little bit um it's a little bit mushy <laughs> for lack of better words so I'm gonna outline this and then I'll come back okay so here's this finished card and I'm gonna show you the other one hold on okay and so here's this one and so it's two cards right I suppose we could have left it on here the scripture but sometimes when you make something and you color it yourself it has more sense um sentimental value you know but i like this part and um i think i'm i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i think like i said um i was thinking about laminating a lot of the cards that i made because i had made some scripture cards before um it was a project that i started but then you know, i kind of put it down um and been working on some other stuff you know, sometimes you start a project and you put it to the side and then you pick up something else. Um, but um, just because you start a, um, an art project doesn't mean you're going to always complete it in one sitting. 
Sometimes you have to walk away from it and come back, and that's okay. But this year it says, give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. First Peter 5, 7. And this is not just for art. It's a reminder that God, you know, he loves us and he cares for us. So we don't have to take care. We can give him all of our cares and give him all of our worries because he truly does care for us. God bless you and Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.